75% of British men are antagonistic or apathetic towards the Christian gospel. We lost something in the region of 49% of men under the age of 30 from the UK church between 1980 to the year 2000. Most younger men are more comfortable going into a lady's underwear shop than walking into a church. Across all the age ranges, the decline was something like 38%. We're effectively looking at the wipeout of men from the UK church somewhere in the region of by, by 2030. And you've got this whole male thing going on of, you know, I don't need help, I, I don't need a crutch, I'm all sufficient, I'm all capable. Your average typical bloke who doesn't go to church, it's not on his radar at all. It's not what he does. It's not his first instinctive thought when the wheels come off in his life. It's not doom and gloom, but we are in a fight. It takes on average, from point of first hearing the gospel, five years for a man to come to faith in Jesus. But also, we're suggesting now that a man needs to hear the gospel over that five years about 30 times. 80% of men who come to faith were bought by a friend, but here's the thing, most men were bought to faith by women, by female friends. So what do we do to get under the skin of this and work for the long term to see men come to faith? I think what we need now is a movement of men who stand up and make a difference. So what we're going to do is unpack a bit about what men are thinking about church, how men tick, and a kind of band of brothers strategy for evangelism that we've found across the UK is working really well to see this decline halted, stopped, thwarted, and see men come back into the church. We call it four-level evangelism. Level one is making friendships. Level two is mentioning Jesus in conversation. Level three is telling them shed loads more once you've got permission. Level four is a bloke-friendly church. That's four-level evangelism, and that's what we're gonna unpack.